Hey, what's up? This is Tyler with Most Simple Guitar Lessons. I'm gonna show you how to play Skin and Bone by Lund on acoustic guitar. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get started. All right, for this song, you'll be in standard tuning with no capo. Um, you'll just mainly be playing two strings for this whole song. Um, you're gonna be alternating between the A and the B strings, so A and the B strings. Your first chord shape, you're gonna put your pointer finger on 10 of the A string and your ring finger on 11 of the B string. It's like that. And you're gonna use your thumb and your middle finger and alternate between those two. When you're finger picking, you can place your pinky down on the body of the guitar to kind of steady it out like that. Um, so anyway, yeah, just alternate between that 10 and 11 on the A and B, and then you're gonna slide that same shape down, just one fret difference like that, um, down to five and six on the same strings. So start at 11 and, I mean, start, start out at 10 and 11, slide it down to five and six. All right, so it should sound like, it's like that. So we get comfortable going between those two. Then your next shape, you're gonna, gonna slide your pointer finger up one and put your pinky, or you can do your ring finger, up on the eighth fret of the B string. First three chords will be 10 and 11 on the A and B, five and six on the A and B, and then six and eight on the A and B, and then Open one for the next part. I'm gonna do that a little bit. Twice. Then put your pointer finger on the third fret of the A string and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the B string. And then one and three. So the first part you'll get, so 10 and 11, five and six, six and eight. And then the lower second part is open on A and one on B, middle finger three on A and four on B, and then one and three. You can use your ring finger too. So that last part sound, should sound like this. Play it slower. together should sound like this. And then the second time around you'll play that first part again. And then it should sound like this, open one. And then three on the E string. And three on the G string. So that very last chord, the second time around, is um, the only time you change strings to the E string. Right, the E string, third fret, middle finger. And the G string, third fret, ring finger. That's that last note. So all together, it should sound like I'll play it faster.